Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to show you something that I find very interesting. The, oh, that's shaky there. The destroying angel, and this is a destroying angel. This is the mushroom that will kill you dead, right? Um, hence the name destroying angel and Amanita species. And when you wanna identify this Amanita species, one of the key ways to do that is simply to dig it up. With Amanitas, for identification, you always have to dig it up because they have this like kind of uh, encased, uh, I don't know if uh, uh, I'm trying to, I'm drawing a blank now. I think the name is a vulva, right? But this is part of the universal veil. These mushrooms are covered entirely by a veil when they're in their immature uh, stage, when they're just kind of pinning and becoming a fruiting body. They're covered completely by this universal veil. And then as the mushroom grows outside of the veil, it breaks out and it forms this kind of encasing here. It's kind of this egg-shaped encasing. All right, so when identifying Amanitas, you have to dig that up. So what I like to do is just to dig around the mushroom here and kind of, and I'm wearing gloves this time around. Um, I don't wanna kind of perpetuate myco mycophobia here. Um, what, what this is, is that I'm constantly testing these uh, mushrooms with potassium hydroxide and and uh, ammonia and all that and those of course are caustic bases and so you know my hands starting to get dried out although with this mushroom <laughs> considering how incredibly deadly it is you know um, I always wonder maybe somebody can educate me and again I don't want to forward mycophobia but maybe you know if I dabble some of these solvents on here these um these uh, potassium hydroxides, etc. I don't know if maybe some of the uh, amanita, the amatoxins in there can get mixed into, you know, uh, the solvent of the potassium hydroxide and, and penetrate the skin or something. If, if that's wrong, uh, you know, somebody please disprove me on that. I very much would like to know if that's the case because these have amatoxins. These stop you from, uh, <laughs> this stops your RNA polymerase from functioning. It's a very, very toxic mushroom, but from what I understand, it's only deadly when you actually consume the mushroom, okay? So yeah, so you can even get your knife out too and uh, kind of start digging around here, right? And uh, uh, loosen it up, right? So now we have it and you can see this vulva, okay? And if we dissect this, I'm gonna to try to find another Amanita. If we dissect this, you'll be able to see that there's also a partial veil underneath the gill, uh, the, the uh, cap, that forms the ring that is characteristic of these Amanitas. So we're gonna take this now, and we're gonna to try to get a better position in order to analyze this with. So, we're gonna test this here. And I want you to see that as soon as I dabble a bit of potassium hydroxide on there, it's just gonna slowly turn yellowish color, like a bright yellow. Okay, now watch that. It's gonna take, take a minute, but it'll slowly start. In the meantime, I want to dust off this guy here. All right, this is another specimen. I'm just gonna kind of dust off the uh, debris here. Clean it up. All right, but you can, you can actually see, you see that yellow tint? That wasn't there before. And that is 100% color change and that color change is indicative that you in fact have a destroying angel okay so here's another specimen I'm gonna show you I'm gonna put this off to the side this is a slightly bigger specimen all right you can still see the vulva right there and if you look underneath the mushroom you can see that you can't really see the gills but that's not because the gills aren't there, that's because there is a partial veil, and that veil, as the mushroom grows, is going to slowly uh, break apart 
revealing the gills. And when that happens, some of it's gonna get left over and then it's gonna form a ring around this mushroom. And we're gonna show you that. You can clearly see now here that the mushroom is very, very um, yellow, okay? That's very clear color change, all right? So we're gonna dissect these guys. All right, you can see, like maybe I can do a, just a cross section here. Let's see what happens if I just try to cross section this guy. Perfect, okay? And so this reveals what I'm talking about very well, okay? So here is the partial veil. It's still kind of stuck on here, but you'll be able to see the gills if I... Right there, okay? So this is where the partial veil is occluding the gills. And you can see that here. That's the partial veil there. And then the gills exist shrouded underneath that partial veil. Okay, so this is definitely a destroying angel. We have confirmation of the partial veil. We have the bulb here. Okay. And we have gills. It is absolutely a gilled mushroom. It doesn't appear to be that in the beginning, but absolutely it is. We have the yellow um, potassium hydroxide reaction. And to investigate further, we're going to reveal the partial gill on this guy as well. But first I want to kind of show you the way that bulb is right here. Let's get a zoom in on that there. Okay. Again, watch what happens when you open this guy up. All right, the gills, the gills are on display and Apologize for the shaking here, but you can even peel this. Watch me peel this to reveal the gills. It's kind of hard to do it, but see that? That's the partial, that's the partial veil, right? Look at that. All right, you guys see that, right? Sorry, every time I like have to focus the phone, Okay, and this was covering that. You just saw me peel it off, and that would stay somewhere. That would, when it's as it's breaking apart, it would connect somewhere here. Okay, you can even see where where um, the remnants of the partial veil is, and these here comprise the gills. This is one of the gills. Okay, very cool mushroom.